say, Zaki, how many kids do you have? Three. Three. Yes. Uh, and how old are they? Eleven, eight, and uh, two this year. Uh, so, do you send your kids to public or private schools? They're all in public schools, generally. Uh, okay. So, uh, do they, like, have any tuition classes or any extra classes? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, they do have some tuition classes, but mainly for any subjects when they are a bit weaker. Lah. I mean, especially things like second language or, uh, you know, some of these subjects where they think that they need a bit more enrichment. So, um, do you think that maybe this signifies, like, there should be improvement made for, like, the languages in the education system or it's just, like, uh, individual case by case? Well, I think um, how our kids stick, stick to language I think depends on the aptitude for each one. I think today um, there is already some sort of a bending system where you know some can take higher um, languages at higher level, some take lower level. Depends on your aptitude for it. But at the same time, I think we also need to still inculcate um, the uh, second language for young, um, especially you know mother tongue. Do you think the CCAs take up a lot of times? Like where you affect the studies? I think. Not as much as I used to be involved in. I used to, you know, train like three times a week, four times a week and in school. So my kids do once or twice a week, it's not so bad. Um, do you find yourself having to sacrifice time with your children because of your duties? Yes, I mean, it's, it's part and parcel of the job. It's uh, sacrifice somewhat sometimes. And I, and, and I do envy them sometimes because, um, you know, compared to some of their peers, um, they, don't, they don't spend much time with me I mean, growing up. I don't see much of them either for the last five years. But I hope that... Um, you know, over time, um, they also understand the benefit, um, not so much benefit, but they also understand the sacrifice that has been put in. And um, there, is, there is a lot more to this, to this role. Now that we have heard from Mr. Zaki Muhammad, let's see what the students think about the Singapore education system. So what changes would you like to see in the school education system? Um, I think that the school hours should be like shortened because like... Um, School starts at like 7.30 and then like sometimes it ends at like 2 plus or 3 plus and then if the CCA ends at like 6.30 so by the time we get home it'll be like really late and then we still have like um, homework and we have to like study still so we stay up to really late and then we have to get up early the next morning again. Maybe the focus on different subjects can be changed because sometimes we spend too much time on science and math and not a lot on humanities and languages. Not really, not that I could think of. So you are pleased with what's happening right now in the school education system? Well, yeah, it's actually pretty good. Do you feel there's anything lacking in Singapore's education system now? No, I think it's alright. So are there any changes you'd like to make? Uh, maybe shorter school hours. Of course, my school hours now are actually quite long. So maybe uh, with less tiring, uh, it will be easier to cook for my studies. Break times. I think it's more to the school hours. Yeah. Because when we start schooling at 7 o'clock, right, some people are like still sleepy and stuff, so they won't able to concentrate, like what happened in our school. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the school hours. Yeah. Um, I think that um, for different schools, right, some schools, like, they have really good facilities and some schools, they don't really have those sort of facilities. So I think that it should be fair if all the schools have the same type of facilities. And they require more CCAs, more vibrant ones, you know. Not just in, yeah, not just in, you know, better schools, yeah, but, you know. Do you think that, like, students feel that there's anything lacking in the education system now? I feel like students are very open in this generation because of the technology they are exposed to. And if it's anything lacking, I think it would be the generation gap between the student and the teacher, the teacher's ability to use technology to engage students. So I think the communication is what they think is lacking because knowledge-wise and experience, I think teachers as adults have more experience than students and thus can contribute to their lives in ways that they don't expect and the interaction is also something magical.